Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this really pretty soft glam. Well, I wouldn't say soft because it's super, not super soft, but um, I would say more of like a wearable type of smoky eye type of look. This is more so, I, I geared it more towards this time of year because, you know, there's like holiday parties coming around. I did add some shimmer on my eye today. You guys will see what products I use if you continue watching this video. Um, I wanted to do this look because I did post a similar type of look. The other one I posted on my um, page was a little bit more simple. It wasn't this smoky, which I didn't mean for it to get this smoky, but um, it kind of just happened. But I mean, I feel like it looks fine and I feel like for the holidays, you could kind of like pull this off, especially for like a New Year's party, Christmas party, whatever you're doing. This would be such a freaking pretty look, especially because it's so glittery and goldy and just perfect. You can even play around, so if you don't want to do gold, you could put silvers. Just add a little bit more neutral tones on the eyes rather than the browns. I use use like cooler browns, which I did use some cool tone browns, but I think I went, I shouldn't have added the last brown that I did, which was like a darker brown. But like I said, if you guys want a little bit of a lighter type of look, then just alter the shadows and you know. Do it what works best for you because I just did what I like and I always like smoky looks, especially for parties because I feel like that makes you like stand out, makes your makeup look bomb and it's, like I said, it's not super smoky to the point where it's like you have a pitch black eye or pitch, yeah, pit black, pitch black pitch black eye but um you still have the smoky tones going on with like the browns and stuff which is in my opinion the most like wearable smoky eyes and when you have browns and instead of like black don't you don't want to do black it's gonna wash you out make your eyes look small girl no, 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 no. but yeah if you guys like this look please continue watching this video but before i get started please like this video subscribe to my channel if you have not but yeah without further ado let's get into this holiday smoky eye glam situation you know what I mean? Let's get into this look. So I already have my eyes primed. Excuse my nails because they are so busted and I'm getting them done tomorrow. Thank goodness. And excuse this little cold sore situation because I had a cold sore and it's been like a week and it's barely going away. So, um, it's a scabby type of moment now. So, and I'm breaking out again, which is so annoying. It's because I'm stressed. So, I'm stressed. There's so much going on in my life right now. I'm like, <sighs> stressing. Anyway. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I already have my eyes primed. It's tacky right now, but I'm going to set them like I always do, like I've been saying. Because I don't like a tacky base type of thing, I like to set my eyes. I'm just going to take a little bit of translucent powder right here. Alright, like everything's just like kind of busted about me today, so... Don't mind that, but I did want to film a video because I just want to get this out. It's like the holidays season now, and I wanted to do like a really, like a soft glam type of eye and type of makeup, but still having a little bit of pizzazz. So, I did this look on my Instagram a few days ago, and it was so simple, but um, it was really pretty. It's really wearable. And it's not going to take you a lot of time either. Obviously, it's going to take me a little bit because I explain everything. But it really should not take you that long to do. I'm going to start off. I'm going to use, actually, my Friendcation palette by Dose of Colors. Okay, so I'm actually going to start off with the shade Necessary, which is that brown type of tan shade. I love this palette. Honestly, it's one of my most used palettes. I know it may not seem like it because I like barely dipped into the colors, but it actually is one of the ones that I dipped into the most. So I'm just going to kind of just brush that in my transition area. And I want to pack a lot of it on the outer, outer corners because I'm doing a, not super smoky, but I want to keep most of the color on the outer corner. This is super nice transition color. It's a nice neutral brown tone, which is why I really like it. And honestly, this palette, like I've said before, it's just like such a good palette. I use this so much. This shade, Just a Kiss, is so pretty because it's literally just a kiss of like glitter and shimmer in your eye. And it's so freaking beautiful. 
kind of my most used like shades even when i'm not using this palette i'll like dip into that shade and just use it it's so good i really want to put this shade like all over my eye because this i'm not using many shadows in this look so i want to keep everything pretty pretty cohesive pretty blended so I'm going to take this packer brush and dip into this shade right here, this brown shade, which is called, I think, Churro, I believe so. So I'm going to take kind of like a flat shader brush. I'm just going to pack that on the outer portion of my eye. So I'm just packing this right now. I'm not really worried about blending because I am going to get to that. But you do want to pack the outer corner kind of going into the eye. I took a little bit of the first shade that I used. And I just kind of tapped over. And then now I'm doing slight buffing motions. I'm actually going to take the deeper brown shade, which is called Dirt, no, 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 Cheens, right here. On the same area where I packed the other. So this is more of like a deeper, like true brown. The other one was, the other one was a warmer toned brown. Again, with that fluffy brush, just going to tap over the edges. So I know it looks like a hot little mess, but we're gonna wipe that off. But before I do so, I'm actually gonna take my glitz. So, I've used these before on my channel, but these are the Artist Couture um, Diamond Glow Powder, or no, 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 Diamond Lights Finishers. These are my absolute favorite. They're so good. And I don't know whether to use the Spotlight Glitz shade or the Golden Hour shade. I might do a little combo. So I'm gonna do Golden Hour first and then I'll top it off with Spotlight Glitz. Taking my ring for finger, really packing it on. And I'm going to apply it on my inner portion of my eye. Really like patting it on because it does fall out. So every time I use these, I like to do my I'm kind of blending it like that, but every time I do this, I like to use my, I like to do my foundation after because it gets really messy. See how pretty those are? So bomb. They're super pretty. Honestly, I think they're worth the money. I don't know exactly how much they are. I'll find out right now and I'll link it down below, but they're so pretty. They're, like I said, worth every penny. No, I'm not. Okay, so you could take the sifter off and then just do it that way. I think it's easier. So this one I actually am just kind of going to dot all over the eye because I think it'll be easier that way. I'm going to take the brown shade again of the palette and kind of just work on the eyes a little bit more. I got a little bit too carried away on this eye with the glitter so I'm kind of just going to tap over that. I'm going to take a little bit of cleansing water and just cleanse my under eye area because it did get really glittery. So like I said, it gets messy, these um, lights finishers. So be mindful of that. Now I'm going to move on to my skin, which is an, a key part of this video or this tutorial because you want your skin to be looking bomb. So I'm going to be using two different foundations. So this is not necessary because this is a little bit extra but I did this combo the other day and my skin looks so bomb i honestly had been doing the combo look at all the glitter i have on my face oh my god um i did this combo which i had done it before and this is a really pricey combo but it looks really really pretty on the skin so i am gonna do this combo today so i'm gonna take the pat mcgrath foundation and the dior forever foundation and when I say this combo makes your skin look bomb, it makes your skin look bomb, like super bomb. So I just do about three pumps of each, which I know it seems like a lot to some people, but I use a lot of foundation because obviously I need more coverage. So with these together, I like to just do circular motions with my fingers. And that'll give me, I feel like the maximum coverage. This is my holy grail sponge, and then I take more of the product on my sponge and blend it out. I'm 
I like this combo together because it makes my skin still look like skin. Even though I am using, it looks like a lot of product, which I'm not gonna lie, it kind of is. It still makes my skin look very skin-like and not super cakey. So I'm just blending out my concealer and I used my Tarte Shape Tape so I was on the phone so I couldn't really talk. So what are you guys asking for for Christmas? I feel like I'm so like, my boyfriend keeps asking me like, oh, what do you want for Christmas? And I don't even know what to say. I feel like I want to get certain things, but then I'm like, ugh, do I really need that? Powder today on my under eye, I'm going to use the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. This is like my favorite powder for under eyes. I low-key kind of like drifted away from it for a little bit because I was like, oh, let me try some new things, but no, girl. That is the best under eye powder for me. I don't know what it is, it's just so good. Next, I'm gonna take my Chanel powder and I'm gonna use that all over my face, which is, again, another thing I always do. I like to use the flat side of my sponge for this though because I like how the sponge is shaped and it presses it in, I think, even better than the pointier side for the rest of my face. This powder is called the Natural Loose Finishing Powder, I believe, and I feel like that's exactly what it does. It gives me literally such a natural finish. It's so pretty. That's why I love it so much. So one thing that I like to do to ensure that all the powder kind of like really did catch every single part of my face. I just take a little bit of powder on a brush and then I just tap it again over my face. And it may seem like a lot of powder, but it's actually not because I'm gonna spray my face with um, a setting spray right now and it'll actually set everything into my skin. So basically everything, sorry, everything that I don't, all the powder I don't need will kind of like drift away, <laughs> if that makes sense. But all the powder that needed to stay will pretty much soak into my skin. So that's why I like doing that method because it'll ensure everything stays where it needs to stay. So then you kind of just, you can like move your brush around your face and see like if you miss any spots, but my face feels pretty smooth. So I think I got everything. Now I'm gonna take some Fix Plus. I'm gonna move on to my under eye now. I'm not gonna do too much on the under eye because since this is more of like a softer look, I kinda wanna keep it a little bit more um, clean and cut underneath the eye. I'm gonna take my palette again and I'm gonna dip into the, I think the lighter brown shade, which is Churro, and I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash line. Pretty much on the outer corner, that's all I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna dip into the lighter shade, which is the first shade that we used. And I'm just gonna dust over that brown in the lower area. So I'm even gonna hit right here on the wing part of the eye. So anyway, I'm kinda gonna leave this baking situation on for a little bit. I'm actually gonna apply some lashes. I don't know what lashes I'm going to be using today. I kinda wanna wear these body bees style saucy but then I'm afraid they're gonna be not dramatic enough I'm actually gonna apply my lashes off the camera because this takes forever with the glue and all but I'll be back so I popped my lashes on and I have baddie be saucy on the lash so I'm gonna move on I'm actually gonna do my normal like glow type of routine I'm gonna take the hourglass ambient lighting powder in the shade luminous light I'm just gonna take kind of like a fluffier brush. This is a JH06. And I'm gonna hit that kind of like on the highlighty points of my face, but I'm kind of just brushing it all over like my cheek area. Just because I want that glow from within type of look. And I'm gonna move on to bronzer. I've actually been going back to using my Hula bronzer, which I love that bronzer. It's so good but i always still start off with my fenty beauty bronzer because that's just the bronzer i like using 
as like my base bronzer, I guess you would say. So I use the Fenty Beauty one more for bronzing and I use Benefit Hula Bronzer for contouring. So I'm gonna take the Sun Stalker Bronzer in the shade Shady Biz by Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna take it kind of like on a smaller, denser brush because I'm kind of gonna pack it on and then lightly swirl. Now that I'm getting like lighter for, cause it's winter, I'm noticing this one is a little bit orangey, which is not bad, but I like more of like, not super orangey, I like more of like a cool tone type of bronzer. Cause I think that complements a little bit more. I'm gonna take Hula Original. And I'm gonna take it on a different brush. This is like the same. So this is like the same type of brush. So this is the R14 R by Morphe Star. It's like so old. And this is the JH05. So I think it's literally the exact same brush. I think this one has different bristles, but they both work the same in my opinion. So I just use both of them because I think they're equally as good. So I'm gonna take Hula more on the um, contours of my cheeks. Really lightly though. And I really like Hula as a nose contour shade. It's like the best nose contour. I just take it on the brush and I just go on the side. I cut my cheeks. I'm actually gonna take my Cover FX powder for this. I'm going to cut it with my Morphe sponge like how I always do. Cut the cheeks. I'm going to highlight now. I'm going to be using Ofra Rodeo Dry, which is one of my OG faves. So I'm kind of doing the highlight meeting up to like the tail of my eyebrow, which I think it looks better rather than just doing a stripe like that. I think that looks cuter. So I'm just doing that today. Since I have more of like a bronzy look, I feel like either a mauve blush or a peachy blush will complement. But I do more of like a pinky blush, but I don't think that'll look good. I think I'm gonna take Peaches by MAC. I think I'm going to take Control Lippy Pencil by Color Pop. So I did Control by Color Pop, and I'm going to take Nude 2 by KKW, and I'm going to pop that all over my lips. So I'm going to kind of blend. Bomb, that lip combo is so bomb. Okay, I was kind of iffy on it because the lip liner is so dark and I was scared that it was gonna be too dark. So I'm gonna do, what I am gonna do now is pop some lower lash mascara on and probably pop on some brow gel because I need it for sure. Last time I walked to the house without putting my brow gel on and I was like, girl, what are you doing? So I'm gonna pop a lower lash mascara and some brow gel and I'll be right back. So this is what I'm working with right now and my hair is a freaking mess, girl. I'm like, ugh. I can't, like I said, I kinda just did this video because I wanted to like play around with my makeup and you know, just do my makeup because I feel like, I don't know, well, when I haven't put a video out for you guys and then I just wanted to do this look because I don't know, I think it's like super appropriate for right now, the time of year and it's so easy. So simple i mean like you guys saw the steps it didn't take me long at all so i really enjoy this look i hope you guys did enjoy this look i hope you guys try it out let me know what you think of this i know it's like a little bit like all over the place this video because i feel like i didn't talk that much i feel like it was more like i don't know i was just like kind of like in my zone i've been like really stressed out this week so like i kind of just like wanted to do my makeup and like unwind a little bit so i am unwinding my doing my makeup and honestly i really Love how this look came out. The lip combo is really cute. Oh, sorry, it's like 
bugging me. Um, the lip combo is really cute, honestly. So this is Nude 2 by KKW and Control Lip Liner by ColourPop. So I think it came out bomb. These eyes are bomb. These Diamond Lights finishers actually are perfect, especially right now for the holidays. This is actually would be a good gift to give somebody because they're really reflective underneath the light. So if like I went underneath lights, like it would be sparkling so pretty. And like honestly, it's one of my favorite like beauty products right now. I haven't stopped using them since I've got them. I use them pretty much, I would say every time I do a glam look, I wanna use them because it's a glitter, it's gonna give you shimmer and like kind of a glitter effect, but without like the mess of being a glitter. It is still messy, but it's not gonna be super like chunky and hard to work with and gritty on your eyes. It goes on so smoothly. So I would just advise your um, foundation and stuff first because it does get a little bit messy, but if you really don't care, then I mean, go at it. Like it doesn't even matter, girl. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm um, sorry, I'm not like super like presentable today. I literally was running errands earlier today and I kind of just came down. And I was like, let me just film a video because I feel like doing my makeup and I feel annoyed low key at life right now. So I'm just doing my makeup and unwind and relax and be feel like that be again because girl life has just recent oh my baby is about to be one emotion about that then i'm about like this party and stuff oh like everything's just like kind of like coming all at once and it's just super super annoying and if you guys know what i'm talking about then you know what i'm talking about but it's so annoying sometimes having to try and please everybody on like things and it's just ugh, even though it's like I know obviously it's like my life, my child, it's like I feel like I always have to like kind of please everybody and like oh god I just hate like talk about anxiety. Ugh. Anyway, that's it. I'm not even gonna rant anymore because girl like I'm, I'm done ranting. I'm done. I don't even want to talk. I'm like at the point where I just like ugh, I just want to like be, get this over with and then I get this weekend over with actually and just be done and then next year I'll figure it out again because girl next year girl she about to have a my daughter's about to be one and literally her party is about to be so lit like I'm more excited for her party than she's ever gonna know I remember the other day my sister and I and my little cousin we went to go eat dinner and like the guy's like oh like we're about to have like a birthday party oh no he's like oh how is she I was like oh she's about to be one we're gonna have a birthday party and he's like oh is it gonna be a big party and I was like yeah he's just like oh yeah a big party she's not even gonna remember and my sister's like yeah but we will and I was like yeah we will remember it and um I really don't get what people say that it's like obviously you're not gonna your daughter or your son is not gonna remember the first birthday but you will always cherish those memories you have of them like at their first birthday and I think that's like obviously the point of it like you want them to like hey, they're not gonna remember anything at this point of their life but you will you can just talk about it share photos and memories and that's good enough girl people just get on my nerves like ugh. and also too i'm actually gonna like come and talk about this like whole fitness thing that i did i have some opinions about it i didn't finish it i actually didn't even feel like finishing the challenge because I kind of just like felt discouraged and I was just like, oh, but whatever. I'm gonna make a separate video. Also, um, leave me suggestions down below of like what type of looks you guys wanna see. I know I've been doing kind of like bronzier types of looks, but honestly, that's what people wanna see. Like from my Instagram, it's like people always wanna see bronzy, simple glam. No one ever wants to see like crazy looks and I think that's because like no one can really do crazy looks. Like I'm not being like, not trying to like bash on anybody's skill or anything, but everybody always wants to see the bronzy looks and I honestly think that's what flatters everybody. So let me know what you guys want to see down below. Let me know what exactly you guys want to see. I think I'm going to start getting into more like step by step of things. So I think I'm going to do a series like step by steps routines of things so i'm gonna like do that i think that that'll be a really good idea let me know what you guys think about that down below yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one